Mexico City, 1968. The opening day ceremonies of the 19th Olympiad of the modern Olympic era. Once again, United States male athletes are expected to dominate the track and field events. Before the games began, American black athletes had threatened a boycott of the Olympics, but finally decided to compete. Before the games would be over, however, there would be a major protest by black athletes that would receive worldwide attention. If someone is concerned about your education, you should show a little concern yourself. All right? This is John Carlos of the United States. Today he is coaching young boys and girls for future competitions. More than a decade ago, John Carlos was one of a group of black American athletes who had threatened to boycott the Olympic Games and subsequently was involved in the protest that overshadowed the actual event he competed in. Well, I wanted to do something for the human race. I would say that, you know, people are being oppressed. Uh, all sorts of minorities are being oppressed. But, you know, I would say that black people were being oppressed in particular. And by me being a black individual, uh, I guess people would say, well, he's catering more to the black cause. October 16, 1968, the final of the 200 meters. The favorites, Tommy Smith and John Carlos of the United States. John Carlos is second from the right. John Carlos leads going into the final turn. But Tommy Smith alongside him is coming on fastest of all. Tommy Smith first. Peter Norman, Australia second. John Carlos third. The victory platform ceremony takes place. Tommy Smith, Peter Norman, and John Carlos receive their medals. The United States national anthem is played. Smith and Carlos raise their arms in the Black Power salute. It is noticed that Peter Norman is wearing a human rights button given to him by John Carlos before the platform ceremony began. I asked Peter Norman, I said, hey, are you for human rights? And Peter Norman said, yes, I am. I said, well, would you mind wearing an Olympic project for human rights button? So he said, no, and he put it on. More than a decade later, Peter Norman of Australia is remembered more for the platform ceremony than for winning the silver medal. I did wear a button on my tracksuit that said Olympic Project for Human Rights, and human rights is something that I've believed in for a long time and still do believe in. Luckily, as we turned to face the flags, John and Tommy were behind me, so I didn't see any of the incident. A lot of people assumed that I'd actually taken part in the, uh, in the saluting, um, which I hadn't done, and uh, there was a, a bad taste about that side of it. If I couldn't get across to them that civil rights and human rights is something that's worth believing in, if I couldn't get that message across to them, well, uh, I suppose they thought I was a pretty bad sort of a character. But by the same token, when people heard that my actions were, were prompted because of my belief in human rights, there was a more favorable sort of an attitude to it. I'm proud to be an American, but yet and still even far greater than that, I'm proud to be a human being. I would be even prouder if I can be treated as such. John Carlos uh, received, let's say, the bulk of the uh, uh, oppression that took place after Mexico. I feel at the same time with the uh, agony that I felt after the games that above everything else I received an enormous amount of knowledge and education in terms of how to solve various problems that I had and even greater than that how to convey it to other individuals. Go! Come on, up, 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 up! Good, Max!